Hi there, and thank you so much for taking the time to tune in today's episode, Real Estate Success 2020. And um, I'm coming to you from my home office. I'm self-quarantining at this, um, you know, coronavirus day and age. And um, odds are you're probably doing the same thing. A lot of you are working from home now. Maybe you're used to working in an office and now you're forced to work from home. Uh, you know, the silver lining might be that you actually realize that working from home is so much more productive if you do it right than working from a brick and mortar office. So today I want to talk about how you can most efficiently and effectively work from home and have some tips for you with respect to making working from home work. Now myself, I have had a home office for, gosh, over 10 years and I'm always going forth and back between the office and my home office. And I've always found, honestly, that productivity wise, I get a lot more done from my home office and I have fewer distractions and I don't spend an hour, hour and a half commuting, which is time that I can use to get other things done. Plus, I have a lot more flexibility. Obviously, I can start at five in the morning or get started at seven or start at nine, work how late I want to. So um, what can you do to you know, boost your productivity. What are some of the must do's, and especially if you're new to working from a home office? Uh, the first one would be to create a dedicated workspace. So you want to have a home office environment if at all possible. Have a desk somewhere, have a table somewhere where you can set up your equipment, and this will be your dedicated workspace that you're working from. This could be a desk in a spare bedroom, or it could be a separate den or office that you have set up, but you want to make sure that you have a dedicated work environment. And your family also needs to know that this is your workspace, this is your office, and, uh, and they need to respect the fact that you are actually getting work done. Um, the second thing you want to make sure is that you have the right equipment to get the work done. You know, computers are very, very inexpensive nowadays, so whether you have a laptop, or a desktop computer, make sure that you have one that actually allows you to get the work done efficiently. If it takes you twice as long to do something uh, because of your equipment, then obviously that's not very efficient because your time is your most valuable asset. Uh, you may want to consider having an extra monitor, especially if you have a laptop, you can add an external monitor to that. It will make your life a lot easier. And then you also want to have a headset to be able to you know, make phone calls through your computer, and uh, have a printer and scanner set up. Now we're all going paperless, but there will be instances when you do have to print something out and mail it or print it out and then sign it and, and scan it back because for whatever reason, the other party wants to have a wet signature. So you just wanna be prepared and have it ready uh, just in case, even if you don't use it a lot. Honestly, my printer and scanner is actually in a closet uh, you know, it's connected wirelessly. I can print it any time, but I don't use it a lot, but I do have it when I need it. The biggest thing by far is to create a daily schedule. So you want to treat your work at home as seriously as you would your work from an office and create a daily schedule for yourself that mirrors what you would do if you were to go to a dedicated office. And you want to time block things and you want to time block and focus on the most important things first. You want to eat the frog first, so get the most important thing out of the way in the morning. It may be the thing you want to do the least, such as prospecting and making phone calls, but you want to get it out of the way because that will set you up for success. And if 90% of the other stuff doesn't get done, as long as your most important thing got done, you'll have had a successful day. And time blocking is an incredibly important an effective tool. So time blocking means that you chunk together in 30 minute or one hour blocks. I wouldn't go beyond that. Ideally 30 minute time blocks where you focus intensely on a specific task at hand rather than jumping all over the place. And when you're time blocking and you focus on something, you want to make sure that all your web browsers are off, that all distractions are off so you can really focus on what needs to get done. Um, don't play the television or the, uh, you know, the news in the background. It's a, it's a sucker. It'll suck your energy, it'll suck your time, it'll suck your focus, it'll suck your productivity. Now I know right now there's a lot of stuff going on and if you, you know, want to watch the White House press briefing at uh, 11.30 or whenever it's on, then go into another room, take a break, watch it, 
and then come back, but don't have it running in the background because it's going to completely destroy your efficiency and effectiveness for the day. Um, and then finally, you want to plan your day and work your plan. You know, people don't plan to fail, they fail to plan. And I find for myself that if I skip this step, my productivity literally drops by 90%. So you want to make sure that you plan your day and you want to experiment with either planning your day the night before, at the end of the day, or first thing in the morning, depending on you know how fit you are mentally. Uh, it might be better in the morning, it might be better in the evening, but you want to plan your day and then work your plan and then at the end of the day, review that day, review that plan and just be honest with yourself, okay, what worked well? Did I get the most important thing done? Uh, what didn't work so well? What am I going to do differently tomorrow? And what is my most important thing tomorrow that I'm going to focus on? So again, prepare your work environment, ensure you have the right equipment, Create a daily schedule for yourself, time block, focus on eating the frog first, the most important thing. Don't run the TV or news in the background while you're working. And most importantly, plan your day and work your plan. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please subscribe, please like this content, subscribe on my YouTube channel and click the little alarm bell so you get updated when I post new videos. And I'd love to hear from you. Please share with your comments what your favorite strategies are for getting the most out of working from your home office. Thank you so much again. I'm Thomas Hyman. Until next time.